in this lesson we will learn about division algorithm the remaining part of the lesson is in the link in the description or if you are already in the chinta course page then it's part of the next lesson okay what's division algorithm the simplest example of of its application is the distinction between odd and even if we take the set of all non negative numbers whole numbers that is 0 1 2 3 4 etc let's call this set capital n then this set can be partitioned partitioned into two subsets the subset of odd numbers which includes 1 3 5 7 and so on and the subset of even numbers which includes 0 2 4 etc now how do we define odd and even rigorously it's very simple you take a number let's say 5 you divide the number by 2 so that's the divisor and you check the remainder so if i divide 5 by 2 the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 1 so the quotient is also 2 and the remainder is 1 so now we can define odd numbers all numbers that produce remainder 1 remainder 1 these numbers are known as odd numbers when divided by 2 when divided by 2 and even numbers on the other hand will produce remainder 0 that's the remainder when divided by 2 now i'm doing this so rigorously because i want to define something called jack queen and king number so how do i define that it's very simple we choose the base number as 3 the base number is 3 So now we will divide the non-negative numbers by three and check the remainders. So the possible remainders are possible remainders are zero, one, and two. So if you divide any number by three, one of these three remainders, one of these three remainders will occur. For example, if you divide nine by two, three. if you divide 9 by 3 then the remainder is 0 so all the numbers which produce remainder 0 when divided by 3 we will call them jack numbers all the numbers which give remainder 1 when divided by 3 we will call them queen numbers and all the numbers which provide remainder two we will call them king numbers just a fancy name that i am giving to the numbers so now all the numbers are divided into three classes or three subsets one of them containing one of them are all jack numbers so 0 3 6 9 and so on then we have all the queen numbers and you can check 1 Four, seven, and so on, and then we have all the king numbers, which includes two, five, eight, and so on. So, three distinct classes or subsets of numbers, and together they will make up all the non-negative numbers. If you put all the three sets together. if you take the union of all of the, all three of them you will get all the numbers so 
what we will do is we will this is a very good trick in number theory that we use uh, if, if the base is 3 if the base is 3 we will use this form of a number 3k 3k plus 1 and 3k plus 2 this is known as form of the number so 3k is the representative of all jack numbers because the remainder is 0 because it's a direct multiple of 3 3k plus 1 is a remainder uh, is a representative of queen numbers because the remainder is 1 if you divide by 3 and 3k plus 2 is a representative of king numbers so these forms are very very useful for example if I say that square of any number produces remainder 0 or 1 when divided by 3. Can you prove this? Can you prove this statement? That is, it never produces remainder 2. Any square number never produces remainder 2 when divided by 3. So how do you prove this? Well, you take the number, you take the, you experiment with these three types of numbers. So first you work with 3k. So you take the square of it, which is 9k square. If you divide 9k square by 3, the remainder is 0, right? Because it's divisible by 3. It's divisible by 9, so it's definitely divisible by 3. How do I know it's divisible by 9? Because it's 9 times something. Anything that's divisible by 9 can be written as 9 times something. Anything that's divisible by 3 can be written as 3 times something. This 9k square can be written as 3 times 3k squared. Okay. The next one is we'll take the form 3k plus 1. Take the square of it. So, I will expand this 9k square plus 6k plus 1. I'm using the formula a plus b whole square. So, if you do not know this formula, you should try to uh, watch the previous algebra videos. So, this is the formula. Alright. Now, this can be written as 3 times 3k square plus 2k plus 1 which means this is 3 times something plus 1. Any number which is 3 times something plus 1 gives remainder 1 when divided by 3. That's the form of the number, right? Okay. Similarly, we can look at 3k plus 2 whole square. This is the tricky part. So, this is 9k square plus 12k plus 4. So you can just, this is simply multiplying 3k plus 2 with 3k plus 2. And you can apply the formula a plus b whole square as well. So what is this? This is 9k square plus 12k plus 3 plus 1. I'm just writing this 4 as 3 plus 1. Now I can take a 3 common out of this. So 3 times 3k square plus 4k plus 1 plus 1. So this is again 3 times something plus 1. So notice that we have actually covered all possible cases because any number is one of these three types 3k, 3k plus 1 or 3k plus 2 and we squared all of them and found that in each case the remainder is either 1 or the remainder is 0. So this makes our job really easy. We don't have to check all the numbers. We just have to check the form of the numbers and then we get the result. The next video will do something similar with four 
5 and other numbers and tell you something about squares and cubes and how to use the division algorithm to use new new formulas all right keep watching the videos and keep doing great mathematics i'll see you in the next one